They are in heaven. Yeah. So like, oh my god, I've never important. had this before. Well, you just use mildly. So who are you? I am Eric Otterbacon. Eric. Passamaquoddy basket maker. Passamaquoddy. I work primarily in ash and birch bark, actually, is my true passion. And where I truly... I don't know, I truly feel in myself when I'm working more with this. It's a more primitive form of art. It's actually one of our oldest forms of baskets and art. Birch bark etching is our oldest form of art outside of petroglyph rock drawings. Thank you. And this technology right here is 3,500 to 4,000 years old. Our canoe making goes back that far. Archaeological uh, evidence shows that stone dugout tools were stopped being used about 3,500 to 4,000 years ago. And so, therefore, we went predominantly to the, well, we went strictly to the birch bark canoe. And I believe there's a good chance that's when we were really, really using this stuff or making this type of basket. These baskets, original, an ash basket originally was made strictly for utilitary or burden use or food storage. Even these are used for food storage. You have a cover or you cover it with leather, tie it over, put your dried meat, dried fish, dried berries, and you actually would bury this into the ground and leave it for storage. And you could store it literally seasons. Winter time, and after the winter goes, you come back to your summer home, winter home, whatever, dig it up, there's your food. You know, you don't have to worry about collecting. It was more for like drought, things like that, emergency stash. Really. Um, if people want to find you um, online, where would they find you? Uh, best place is Facebook, unfortunately. Okay, Facebook? Yeah. Awesome. No, I love Facebook. Just put in Eric Otterbacon. I have a really, you know, most of my portfolios on there. Awesome. Cool. I need to update it. I haven't really updated it this summer. I was kind of trying to hide the work until I got here. Awesome.